Japanese wineberry. It's somehow similar to raspberries. The stems are having reddish, thorny, not very sharp ones. Uh, appearance. The leaves are somehow similar to something to kind of raspberry or blueberry. The fruit comes in this kind of capsules. Of course, this has been harvested, so... Or, no, this probably is not opened again. We will see. I think that one is dry, actually. But here is the way the fruit looks. It's uh, comparable to a small raspberry. I mean, to compare it, it doesn't give much crop. It's a small bush at the moment, so I'm not expecting a second year of it. First year was in a pot, it didn't grow, I didn't have the time or the space to plant it. Now I have planted it in the ground, and yet it has given me some crop. The taste of it, I, I have described it in a previous video, I will do it again. The taste of it is very similar to pomegranate, surprisingly. It's one of the most pleasant um, berries you can eat in the UK. Kind of sweet, acidic, fruity, but at the same time a little bit sharp, sharpness comes at the end. It's not unpleasant at all, it's such a pleasant sharpness. And when it's completely ripe, it has a heavenly taste. And as I tell, the closest thing I can think of is, uh, uh, yeah, this individual berries of a pomegranate. The closest thing is not tasting like uh, any other berry. I'm really happy that I planted this, so, and uh, I'm looking forward for the growth of it, further growth, as you see here. The tips of it already is showing signs of growth. So I have to tie it up to the wire to harness it and let it grow upward. Japanese wine berry with V, I think. This is Japanese wine berry. Uh, it's similar somehow to raspberry, but the taste. Uh, you will see how it is. Oh, uh, it's quite sweet, very refreshing, unlike um, raspberry, which is kind of dry sometimes. Has a very refreshing taste, almost like the most delicious. Mm, yeah, the most delicious um, pomegranate. It's a strange, but it tastes like that. Like that. Mm. You cannot buy this in the shop. You have to grow it to enjoy. And they come in a papery, papery enclosure, and until they are ripe, they are not open. So you see here, they are in that enclosure, paper capsule or whatever. Then when they're ripe, they open. So the birds practically cannot eat it. Of course, here the birds cannot have an access because we have a bird net here. Mmm. Oh, yummy. The yummiest berry, I can say. Okay, we are now harvesting our Japanese wine berry. The most delicious of the berries. There is a big one under your elbow now. And they are very yummy. The, the taste of them is very similar to pomegranate, actually. Surprisingly. The closest thing that can compare them in taste is pomegranate. And look at how beautiful and elegant they look. Uh, 
Oh, I see a lot on that side. Let's just move to that side. I see a lot more there. Mm -hmm. You see, they are like that. For a few days, the, the papery uh, enclosure of the fruit opens, then you can pick them on that day. It's not like the blackberry that uh, they open all the time. And I think this is a third year, no, second year that we have them. Second or third year that we have them. And so far it has given a good crop. We have eaten a lot and now... Of course, the small amount of the fruit it gives is not comparable to a blackberry. But the taste and elegance of the branches in the winter are not, you cannot compare them with anything. They are the best, simply the best. And look at the shape of it, like everything from Japan and China, those regions, look very orderly. <laughs> They're quite tiny, half of a raspberry probably, the size, but the taste is superb. You have to grow it yourself, you cannot buy it in the shop. This is something only you can grow it yourself. You will never see Japanese wineberry in the shops, never. They are easily perishable, so you, can, you have to be collecting it yourself. More. Just don't break the... Like blueberry, mm. not like blueberry. Not like blueberry. blueberry. <laughs> it's this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is something that we can enjoy. I mean, if you grow it yourself, you can enjoy also. You will never see this in the shops. Elegant fruits, specialty, rare fruits, you know. There are some little ones there. And yet it, it, it has more yet to open later to harvest. And I can see several clumps that direction. Probably we have to go from the side of the other side, from the side of the sage. Okay, I'm now tasting one also just to show you how it tastes. Mmm, mm. sweet, fruity, it's slight, not today. much acid at all probably. At this stage, they don't have any acid. Very fruity, similar to. We've got company. Yeah. She comes every time she sees me here. You can put the basket here, easily available to your hands. I'll hold it for you.
more here. They're under here also. Look under the mat. And yes, they're again to the fence, toward the fence. So delicate and difficult. Yeah, in this corner of the um, allotment, which is a kind of a small holding for us, because we have everything, thanks to God, everything we, we can grow here. There is another one down there, just under the one that you picked. Mm -hmm. I can see, I've got a picture. I've got a big thorn in front. Yeah. The thorn is a kind of Sharp. sharpish, but softer than the blackberry. They're not that painful, I must say. They are, they can be in the pickle. Yeah, it the depends. Uh, if you're a woman, yes. If you're a hairy man like me, <laughs> you will not be probably feeling it at all. <laughs> I'm adopted for this. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. That's the harvest for 2016 of Japanese wineberry. This is okay, Nathan. It's still growing. About lichen. Oh, look. Yeah, our pond. Oh, well, most of them are not quite so Mm-hmm. And in the meantime, I think that we have broken a branch of this uh, northern uh, blueberry. It's unfortunate. I have to repair it. I will just put it back probably that would get again and attaching the Japanese wine berry a tay berry a raspberry and a blackberry Okay, all of them are berries. Uh, they look very similar. The differences are in the size. Blackberry, of course, is the biggest. Next comes the... Of course, depends on the variety. Next comes the raspberry. And... Uh, Tayberry can be very big. Uh, this one is just medium. And the smallest is the Japanese wineberry. Taste-wise, the blackberry is the most refreshing one. 
and the sweetest. And the juice, of course, is uh, black, makes blue red stain. Raspberry, at the parch taste, slightly sour, depending on the rate. That was tavery, actually. And uh, yeah, slightly sour. Then the raspberry, sweeter than the tavery. And the Japanese wineberry, quite a small, elegant. Mm, and that kind of slightly more acidic than the others, um, other than the tayberry, which is more acidic. Taste-wise, I think blackberry is the tastiest one. Then come the uh, Japanese wineberry, and then is the uh, raspberry and then tayberry. Tayberry is as the least tasteful.